All right, everyone, here we are with another video with Invest for tomorrow. To all the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all the subscribers, welcome back. All I ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video. Helps out the YouTube channel and it allows me to know that you appreciate the time and effort I put into these videos. And I highly appreciate it from your guys' end. It's the simplest way to support the channel and it helps out a lot. And this video can get pushed out through the YouTube algorithm to other viewers looking for the same content and the same information that you're looking for. And it can help out many other investors having the same questions that you may have that brought you to this video. Now, before we jump into WISH stock, Context Logic Inc., I want to share with you guys the opportunities I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. And if that's something that interests you and you want to become part of, you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together and we look forward to having you join us so i talked about a e i e c o r d y a i and o g e n now e c o r and a e i were our worst performers giving us small jumps of about three to five percent five to ten percent but our home runs of the day turned out to be d y a i and OGEN. Now OGEN, we started watching it pretty early on in the pre-market, jumped up about 10 to 20%, brought itself back down with volatility, and then towards the bell, took off to a highest point of 30% plus, guys. It was phenomenal. Great way to start off the day. On a Tuesday, we talked about DYAI as it was pulling downwards, jumped up, pulled back down, consolidated, and dipped right towards the bell and then just took off for a highest point of 40% plus on the day guys. This was phenomenal. And if you want to gain access to the stocks that I watch daily, you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description to the discord and let's go ahead and jump into this stock. So wish stock is in a position where it continues to fall lower. Now I've talked about how this is looking like a bull trap every single time it jumps up a little bit and pulls back down. And then specifically from the past, we've seen here small bull traps happen, right? Right there, this consolidation period, then right there before the last dip of hitting the newest lows of about 880 and some change, which we touched again today. Seems to be a floor, right? It could be a double bottom right there forming. Now, if that turns out to be a double bottom, this could be on its way back up to newer highs. But if it's not, and it just used it as support, but the bulls weren't able to fight through, then they could actually start going lower. So keep that in mind. It's going to be important moving forward. 880, I think, is a very significant support level. 850, and then we got to watch between 850 and $8. Now, the stock continues to jump up and then hit newer lows. And now we're jumping up. The question mark is, are we going to hit newer lows? Now, the overall market has been pulling back. And something that I've noticed every single time Wish is falling to newer lows or getting close to the $8 range, it jumps back up, right? Right there, got close to it, jump back up. Got right there close to it, jump back up. There's big whales and huge investors jumping in and pouncing on these prices because they see the bigger picture, right? And I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below. Do you see the bigger picture? Do you see this stock? going beyond what we've seen in the charts or at least getting back up to the 20s 30s and beyond that i know there's a lot of price targets out there so i look forward to seeing your thoughts down below but i want to just know how you feel at these lower levels are you still confident or is the confidence going down because if your confidence is going down and this is just a random message to all investors then you need to do more due diligence and research to understand the charts and then understand the companies you're investing in because your conviction is supposed to stay the same, not change, if anything, become larger. Because if you like the price at a higher price, you should love it even more at a lower price. And that's something I've learned through my experience as an investor. So what are the levels I'm looking at? So we see here, obviously, that double bottom forming. And if it jumps up, it could be a momentum indicator to the upside. But if it just jumps up and pulls back down and breaks through it, then weakness is on its way. And I'm looking at 880 very closely, guys. Like, I'm just rounding it down. It says 883 here. 
and then the previous lows were 883 as well 880 is key to know if there's strength or if the bears and the overall market is just going to pull this one down closer to 850 eight dollars and then we got to think about 750 right back to the lows of the 52 rink range that's the lows that we've ever seen before on this stock 752 750 dollars now that's the downside the upside is the first resistance level here as you could see this candlestick pushing upwards live here is 914 currently but i would just jump right over to the highest point as this was dipping in volatile as soon as the market opened and that's 918 if that gets broken through next point of reference is 931 and then you have 945 being a key resistance level to get to the next step which is ten dollars guys like beyond all this area and every single resistance level on the way up ten dollars is the next step like beyond it now this is a great indicator to let us know at 945 that the bulls are pushing upwards and where momentum is going but beyond that 960 970 you want to see this stock reach all the way back up here to ten dollars so that it can start pushing upwards to newer highs new resistance levels and pushing out of close to penny stock range because the lower this goes below ten dollars the closer it is to penny stock range and penny stock range is below five dollars now i don't see this anywhere near five dollars and if it does touch it it might be briefly but there's no such thing as impossible and i don't want to be too hopeful or optimistic i want to stay focused and rationalized based off the charts it is something that could possibly happen but i don't see it anywhere near getting close to those numbers maybe back again to seven dollars if things get really bearish maybe slightly below it or low sevens but right now what i want to focus on is what i see in the charts that are actually here and that's 880 850 and eight dollars and i'll be paying close attention to those other numbers down below closer to five dollars and seven dollars if we continue to head downwards now the lower it goes the bigger the opportunities could be becoming because analysis price targets have not really changed much and they still point to the upside so that's something to keep in mind and be aware of and it is in a very volatile downward state but a lot of investors are actually focusing not on what's going on now if not what it's going to become in the future and i think that's going to be the biggest driver of this stock holding itself up and also pushing itself up with momentum as further catalysts and hype and speculation starts to form pushing the stock to newer highs and as always guys thank you guys so much for watching if you learned something new don't forget to subscribe click on the bell so you don't miss a single video that i post and stay tuned on in for yesterday's stock that i mentioned towards the second half of the video which actually jumped up 50 percent plus guys and i shared it yesterday with you guys so if you have not seen those second halves of the video i highly encourage you to because there's always drops of knowledge as you want to call it or hidden gems as you want to call it whatever it is that you'll refer to it just opportunities that i'm watching and just because i'm watching them they're not financial advice doesn't mean that they're guaranteed to make any moves to the upside or downside or anything i'm not implying to buy sell or hold if anything i'm just enlightening you guys on what i'm watching why i'm watching it and why you may want to do your due diligence and research to see if there's an opportunity for you so stay tuned thank you guys so much for watching so after the s p 500 index reaching newer highs it's now having a cool off going into the fed meeting of today and tomorrow i think tomorrow is going to be very important so keep that in mind and pay close attention to it now the ticker symbol i want to share with you guys is a recap on one of the stocks that i mentioned yesterday and yesterday in the aftermarket hours it was sitting close to 40 cents and some change i stated the closer this got to 40 cents or even down in the 30s it was going to be an even bigger opportunity well it lasted very short around that area and it spiked up to highs here of 67 cents from the aftermarket to the pre-market right then it pulled down back to 48 cents and some change after the market hours opened up about an hour after the bell and it shot back up to 64 cents so from yesterday to today 
it went up nearly 50 to 70 percent plus and today after the dip in the run about 50 percent plus guys so this is a great stock to keep on your radar moving forward do more research and due diligence i also talked about edu and that was a bonus as i was talking about this stock so definitely watch them they could go even lower these are speculative stocks that are becoming near worthless especially in this penny stock range but also presenting themselves to be huge opportunities i look forward to seeing your thoughts down below on medx metx after watching yesterday's video and how it reacted today did you watch it did you see it and what did you see in the charts that you liked or didn't like and what are you seeing moving forward I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.